Hey, Miles here from Miles More Members. I hope you're well. I've just finished a brilliant couple of days up in Scotland. Hi to Anthony and the team at Peak Fitness for You. Thanks for having me. I had a fantastic time. I want to do this video for you today, um, really to talk about selling and the kind of the, the misconceptions that there are around selling, hopefully some of which I've, I've overcome in the, the past few weeks with some of the clients that I've been working with. The reason that it's my opinion that sales gets a bad rap is because fundamentally of it's because of beliefs. So a lot of people I've found um, until I've worked with them have had a firm belief that being good at selling means uh, it's a form of manipulation. Now, it's my firm belief that, that being good at selling is simply being in a position to facilitate a person to make a decision that they already want to make, they maybe just aren't immediately motivated to make. So for instance, it's my firm belief that we're already all in sales. You know, kids are brilliant at sales. You know, dad, can I have an ice cream? Mum said I can have an ice cream, dad. Um, kids are amazing at it. Um, politicians, whether we like them or loathe them, are, are essentially salespeople. Sports coaches. You know, there's a reason why top sports teams change their managers and their coaches every couple of years. And that's because they want a new, uh, you know, a new approach. But in essence, it's because they need someone to, uh, to, to lead their team in a different direction to maybe they've been currently being led. And being good at sales is all about influence. It's my belief that if you can influence the most people, you will be considered uh, not a good salesperson, but someone who has people's genuine best interests at heart. So the training that I do with Miles More Members is very much around changing beliefs. So what can you do right now to change your beliefs? <clears throat> or rather, what can you do to change the beliefs in your team, maybe around selling? So the first thing that you can do in regards to changing the beliefs of your team, if they've got negative feelings around sales, is to get them back into thinking about why they do what they do. Now, we work in the fitness industry and I've been in the industry for 11 years and it's my firm belief that the benefits of exercise, there are not many other industries out there that can provide change within an individual greater than the benefits of exercise. You know, you can reel them off on, your, on, on, on both hands, fingers and toes. You know, increased self-esteem, um, increased self-confidence, lose weight, feel good, look good. You know, these are things which are maybe secondary things with a lot of other things that you could purchase or services that you could use. Fundamentally, exercise provides these things instantaneously. You know it. You've walked into the gym, not necessarily feeling in a great kind of mood yourself, and you've had a workout, 45 minutes later, you feel great. It's the same for your prospects. But if we talk about your team, what we need to do is we need to get them back into thinking about why they do what they do. Because the fact is, why they do what they do is they help to facilitate change in another. So if a person walks into the club who's never been a member of a gym before, what's important is that they, they, they put to one side this this kind of feeling of that not wanting to sell a membership to this person. And they put the emphasis on the fact that if I can persuade and influence this person who's never been a member of a gym to join, what impact will that, what ripple effect will that have on their life? What impact will that have on their livelihood, on their friends and their family who are maybe themselves not users of health clubs? It's really important that your staff take the kind of take the light off them and shine that light on the prospect and know that the ability to be good at sales, if it's in an industry that you wholeheartedly know to be true will make a massive difference, that's not selling. That's just caring so much that you're going to convince a person to do something because you know wholeheartedly, you know 110% 
what will happen for that person if they follow through on the results that it is they're looking to achieve. So I want to leave you with that today. I just want you to think about you and your team over the next couple of days. Just have a think about what beliefs have you got? Maybe little self-talk, limiting beliefs that are going on in your head that you can maybe think, do you know what? That's a load of nonsense. Being good at sales doesn't have to be like what I perceive it to be because we're passionate about our product. And so being good at sales, that can't be a bad thing. Now, in regards to the, um, the, the work that I do, Star Performance Mastery, I, I'm, you know, the main focus of what I do is to spend time uncovering those limiting beliefs within your team and installing new beliefs. Easier said than done to some. Uh, so what I do is my focus is very much around kind of NLP tools and strategies. And I spend the day with them telling them, you know, what to say, how to say it. You know, we, we talk about body language and physiology, their energy, and we really get them back into that, that heart centered space where they can think about why they do what they do from a, so that they come from a position of empowerment. Look, if you've got any questions about Staff Performance Mastery or any of the other workshops that I do, please just pick up the phone and, and give me a call. What I've decided to do, I've had quite a few clubs this week that have said, Miles, look, you know, we really wanted to work with you, but since you've done that 50% discount, you know, now that you put your prices back up, you know, we, we maybe just can't justify or we can't afford to do the training with you. So I've decided to have a rethink in regards to prices. And if you click on the, um, the, the buttons below, you'll be able to see what I've decided to do and how I've decided to price things a bit differently. More than anything, I care about people who are not members of health clubs who clearly have fitness goals and I care about the fact that what it, what's going to happen for them in their life if they don't start their fitness journey now but what will happen for them if they do and my outcome is to help your team connect with your prospective members and your existing members in a way that they feel compelled to join and compelled to stay year upon year. Any questions you have, drop me an email, drop me a line. Have a brilliant rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.